Bonjour! Welcome to my channel. My name is Isabella Ożelski and I'm the artist painter from Edmonton, Canada. If you enjoy watching my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and to press the like button. Enjoy and salut! Hello, today I want to teach you how to draw beautiful flowers. So we will start with sketching them and I'm just doing them from my head. So the first flower will come in this way and it has to be not too big and not too small since I plan to have a number of those flowers. There will be another head or the center of the flower and I will plan to have similar flower in this corner or maybe let's see i like to have an even number so we have three or five and there will be nothing wrong with having another one here and maybe another one over there now i'm looking up on tulips just three patterns would be enough we'll place another tulip on the side voila then we can have another one in this spot beautiful or maybe I just put one next to another so that means that will be one tulip over there and that would be another facing it. Should we have different kinds of tulips? Sure we can have them as well. So this time I will create the pattern that will be in the center and then two on the side on this way. I also want to have another flower coming here. So in this case I also want to have my new kind of tulips there will be the other one. Now there will be some other flowers, let's see, maybe lilac. So what I want to have, I want to think in terms of the triangles or cones, those flowers will be located over there, maybe even coming over the edge, that would be okay. But before I do it, I have to make sure that I will get my flowers. The first one that I sketch using just the center right of the flower so we have one i want the other one looking slightly different there'll be kind of different type of patterns not exactly like this one this is more rounded and then we have another flower over there so this time I, actually i like this flower very much but maybe i just make a skinnier patterns So this is good and then maybe those lilacs so what we want to have well look at this then we can create flowers following those lines and another set and another 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 lots of lots of lots of flowers small ones so now I can think about the stems for my flowers. A bit wider. So we have quite a bit of flowers. I also want to have a different ones. The one that go like this. Oh my goodness, we have lots of flowers now. That's good. And another one here. Oh la la. So many. And maybe even another one coming on this side. Wow, look at this. Very good. So what we want to do now, we want to start using markers. We need to find out the steps. So I want to make them darker and I also want to have some of my leaves. I like to use the marker because I can outline certain parts. It doesn't mean that I want to draw. Of course I will draw, but marker will help me to stylize everything. Everything could be more visible. And even when I decide to use different materials, I always can trace back everything to those lines. Now go to the centers and make them a little bit darker. I can leave a little bit of white when I want, but the most important for me is 
just have to fill the space and give a little bit of the white, maybe in the center. It depends, of course, of the position of the head of the flower. So, it help me there. And I still would add, notice I'm changing the things, I'm adding some my, my tulip, which became, hoo -hoo, which became a little bit on the blue side. I added such tulips, I guess. So, yeah. I want to keep them white, but those flowers I certainly want to have done with markers as well. Just adding some colors to them. Notice how I create the subflowers, I call them the smaller ones. This like oval shape with the center. on the side helping us to see this and then when you go like this then you also have to think which color do we want to keep I like to keep white there that's a very nice color here for the flowers just add it just a touch giving them on one side notice I'm just putting a little bit of this red color on one side not too much, not too big. And even I will come into this flower later on because I need some other colors there as well. So here we are with our tulips. And I think we can add some extra patterns. Still more. Last ones. I think we need to have some yellow color placed also on this side. So now I can come back and enrich some spots with pastels. Not too much, not too little. So we have this beautiful blue, and I think it's time for our lilac to add some color to it. We can also bring some of this lovely color, just dragging it a little bit through. Yeah, maybe even bringing it over there. Just to this. I want to come to some of those four tulips and add them a little bit of the color. And then with my finger, just gently moving some of those colors, smudging them around. We have a couple more things that have to be done and this is this tulip that needs a little bit more work on it all right this and i think we can also introduce it in this section magenta color there and i think that help right away the same in pieces i think we can bring some of the yellow there some of those lovely leaves. See, I'm just looking how the colors will work together. That is to me the most important. I need to put those leaves, but they can't be just on one color. They can be boring. Being done of one color. So that's why I introduce also the darker green into them. Still this section is underdeveloped. Okay, we need more. We need some other colors to be introduced. So where's the blue? Oh yeah. To those colors. They have to work together. So this nice orange works well with the green. But we have to make sure that it doesn't just outline everything. So we have to bring it at some other sections. 
that's better. Okay, and then I want to bring some white on the edge of the sleeve. Then my with the same. Then I like what is happening with this flower when we added some of those nice marks. I still see some sections that are underdeveloped and a little bit of red now. To pick through. So for example, this could be a section of threads and on the top of it we will come and we will make some marks with our white chalk. The same and the same. Very good. You see how rich our painting turned out to be? With lots of different colors that are working for us. So it's the combination and enrichment. So I don't like to leave it white. So I also will work in this section some colors. Before we call it quits, so we can just a little bit more here and there. See, and this flower still seems to me a little bit underdeveloped. So I will very fast just work on them. This section, see, creating some of those bubbles. A little bit more of it. Yeah, we have bubbles there. And I think we are done. So I hope that you learn from it how to be spontaneous and how to have lots of fun like by drawing something that we all enjoy, the flowers. Have a wonderful day and now draw the simple bouquet on your own. Bye!